Justins and God, it'd be great to be six four, yeah, yeah, two hundred fifteen exactly. pounds. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, you'd like that, but uh, you're thankful for what God's given you. You try to make the most of it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, those are two freaks, and uh, I'm thankful they're playing for us and not Alabama. <laughs> how, how do you handle all of the, you know, Hunter Renfro's been here 17 years and the Benjamin Button jokes and all that, <laughs> despite the fact that now it is actually your last game at Clemson? Yeah, um, I mean, I've been here all year. It's not, it's not anything new. Uh, my teammates have given me a bunch of grief for it, uh, but I'm just ready to just to have fun this last game. Um, just to be able to go out there with my teammates and enjoy playing the game of football and enjoy playing with my teammates. When do you think it'll sink in? Uh, I mean, I'll still be around. Uh, I think I'll probably just, just train around the Clemson area. Uh, and so I don't know if it'll really sink in until uh, next year when I'm gone. Um, but I'll still be around my teammates and stuff like that. Uh, but. Hopefully we can finish it the right way and uh, it will prolong that feeling a little more. Have you thought about what pregame will be like sitting in that stadium? Uh, not really. Um, I think I think I've kind of made up my mind. I'm going to be locked in for four quarters. I'm not really – I'm definitely going to take the time to appreciate it. But uh, I'm just talking to the guy. It's going to be a whatever-it-takes mentality. And so we're just going to go out there and uh, go have fun. And, and I haven't really thought too much about it. No. Is there a – yeah, yeah, the one with me and Danny Ford and uh, the picture of it, that's a pretty good one. Uh, I enjoy that one a lot. So. Do you ever reflect at all about how improbable your whole story is, the the rags to riches story and what you've accomplished? I mean, you're even getting ready to marry the homecoming queen. I mean, it's, it's, pretty, it's, it's, it's a pretty perfect story all the way around. I mean, it's perfect, but it was a lot of work, and it was a lot of, uh, I mean, I came to school without a scholarship, and so there was a lot of uncertainty. Um, but I've been extremely blessed, and I feel like, um, God wanted me at Clemson, and I feel like I've obeyed him, and, and he's been able to bless me through it. Is there one aspect of this whole thing that's been the most fun? Is there any part of it that, that stands out the most to you? I think just having a coach like Coach Sweeney has been pretty fun, and Coach Scott, and just our Coach Ellie, our offensive staff. Uh, but Coach Sweeney is special, and uh, I think I'm going to look back in 15, 20 years, and he'll have a bunch of national championships and just being a part of this whole journey and just the way he leads. Uh, it's been special for me and, and it's going to serve me well whatever I do in life just to be able to have a leader like that I can look up to and rely on. Have you seen Alabama now this being your fourth time seeing them? Are there subtle differences between each of the four teams or is it just all all good? <laughs> They're all good. I mean every year they just reload and uh, I know they have uh, very they have a freshman at corner but they're pretty experienced. Um, they're really good D-line, good linebacker play, and so uh, we're just going to have to focus on playing our best four quarters. What have you learned about playing them over these four years? You can't beat yourself. I mean, they're not going to beat themselves. And so uh, you got to protect the ball, and you have to make you have to make competitive play because you're not going to have a lot of guys run wide open. And so um, if you don't beat yourself, then you're going to have a chance uh, to go beat them. There are certain moments when you're a child – and you are an aspiring athlete that you dream of. One of those is scoring that touchdown you scored to win the national championship. How did that moment impact your life? Um, it impacted my life and just it showed me that dreams can come true. Um, that's something that you grow up dreaming of. Uh, I remember just, I mean, whether it's hitting the game-winning shot in the national championship for basketball or in the backyard or, or running down the field and kind of have that vision in your head. Um, it's just just told me that you have to dream about things and you have to have a vision for them um, and they might not always come true but you're just trying to shoot for those things sometimes our memories kind of meld into what you see on TV right how do you remember that moment what's it look like in your mind uh, I really took some time and I'm glad I did I really took some time after the game I remember I took about 30 seconds and it's been a childhood dream I love Clemson growing up um, I grew up a Clemson fan, and so just having that moment, and I remember taking 30 seconds and just looking at my, not talking to anybody, just looking at my teammates, looking at the coaches celebrate, uh, looking at the stands, and just kind of do a, one, a, a full 360 and just take it all in. And, and that's something that I'll never forget, and I can still feel the emotion of that moment, and I'm glad I did that. How do you describe a rivalry with Alabama? Um, it's the best of game series. Uh, I know a lot of people last year are trying to make it a rubber match. Um, but as we continue to be two of the best teams in college football, 
we're going to play each other. And uh, I think it's it's cool to have the storyline with Coach Sweeney and him going to Alabama and uh, and Saban being arguably the best of all time. And so um, just those two guys going against the experience with the youth of Coach Sweeney, um, it's cool. It's fun. You mentioned 